Welcome to my channel folks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS Lambda functions to automatically take AMI backups of your servers. Say for example, you have hundreds of servers running your account and you have a particular tag saying take AMI backup equal to a value of S. Then you want to have a Lambda function which automatically goes and scans your systems. Whichever having the tag, it will automatically take a backup. So you can configure it as a CloudWatch jobs or you can scan it and take it in a particular time however you want to select it so i've written this github article so that we can follow this article and set it up in our account so basically for doing this we need a couple of things as a prerequisites first one is as i said a few instances with a particular tag called ami backup and here i'm going to put a value as yes and then we also need a lambda function with a particular permissions so that we can go ahead and create a backup policy and uh, that will allow us to take uh, automated backups push the logs and execute the lambda functions so i've written the policy document here as well and just for easy reference i have already created the lambda role and kept it ready if you don't know how to create a role watch my video on setting up iam roles along with the policy that is shown here so the next step is configuring the lambda function and here once again as i've said i'm using the ami backup tag if you want to use some other tag, go ahead and change that in the code. I'll show you where you can change that. Unlike that, there's another configuration item that is available for you. That is retention days. By default, this Lambda function will check for a retention of 30 days. That is today, if it is taking a backup on the 31st day, you can configure another Lambda function to automatically clean it up. And finally, if you want to configure your AMI to be replicated to another region, then we can add a tag saying replicate AMI and set a value of yes or no. So by default, this sets a value of no. If you want to go ahead and use my function for replicating it, go ahead and set it up at yes. And the code for that is given in here. Let me go ahead and open that. If you go here, here we have that. And I'm just going to click on raw here so that we can go ahead and copy paste it. So I'm just going to copy this code and head over to my Lambda dashboard and remember i am in north virginia region click on create function and i'm just going to call it as serverless ami baker bot and remember this function is designed for python 3.6 so choose that and since we already created a role we are going to choose existing role and here i'm going to choose serverless ami bot role and click on create function So my function has been created. So where do I paste my code? Go ahead and click on the serverless AMI Baker bot and you will have the option to go ahead and update your code. I'm just going to delete the defaults here. I'm going to paste in my code and scroll down. And here you can have the environment variables and then you can give your value as well. So let us leave that for now and let us leave it as defaults. And if you have a lot of servers, remember to change this value to a higher number say for example if you have 100 machines or 200 machines go ahead and figure out what is the best number works let us say for two minutes i'm going to give this one now and i'm not going to change anything else i'm going to click on save and i'm just going to configure the lambda triggers if we go back to the github article we have first set up the iam policy now that is step zero and we have also configured the lambda function now and next is triggering the lambda function itself we are going to use cloudwatch events for that so let us go ahead and add our event triggers so how do i do that go to your lambda function and look at cloudwatch events and you can see here it gets added here click on configuration required and then scroll down and it is asking you what is the role you want so i'm going to say create a new role and then i'm going to say serverless Oh, we have the code here serverless AMI Baker rule and I'm just going to have the same description for now and what is the schedule expression I want I'm going to say every day I want it to happen once so I'm just going to say rate of one day and then I'm going to click on add so now it is added and it is not yet saved so click on save so now our function is ready for execution and it will execute every single day. But how do I see that so that it can happen quickly? So 
the next step for us to test our lambda function so that we know that it is working so i'm going to set up some ec2 machines let me go to my ec2 dashboard here you can see here there are as of now six machines and i will just configure my dashboard so that it can pick up my tags as well and you can see there three of them are running and three of them are stopped i'm just going to click on the first one and you can see here it has a tag called as ami backup and a value of s and likewise if i go to the last one it has the ami backup of value nothing and also another server which is called as ami value backup no so in essence i should be having four amis created out of my six servers so let us quickly go over to my ami screen again in, i am in virginia region you can see here there are no amis right now how my lambda function must have triggered so it just started taking the ami backups let me go back to my a lambda function and go to monitoring and you can see here it has triggered automatically because for today it is already triggered and it is going ahead and taking the backup if i go ahead and select one of them and you can see if i go to the tag section you can see here ami backup is s and then the date selected was 30 days so from today it is going to set as the 30 days as a deletion period and it is giving my original ami id as well as whether i want to replicate the ami or not and whether what all the other tags that was with my account has also been copied over to my ami as well so that tomorrow when i want to restore this machine i will know which ami backup is relating to which instance so that is how you set up uh, automated AMI backing up uh, function in your account. The final piece of information that you need to know is if your server has more than one volume attached, like for example, my EC2 scheduler 2 server has more than one volume. If you select it, you can see here, both the volumes and the snapshots are listed down here. So this Lambda function takes care of all the volumes and attaches it to your block devices so that when you're restoring it, you will get all the volumes as well and you can have a clear restore point whenever you need it so if you have any trouble in setting up in your account give me a shout in the comment section i can come back and help you thanks for watching have a nice day